Hello everyone, welcome back to my YouTube channel DevOps Codex. In this video, we are going to talk about AWS DevOps troubleshooting interview questions, scenario based question basically. So today we are going to cover EC2 and load balancer related real time issues where interviewers are asking real time scenario based questions. So here we are going to cover real time issues related to EC2 and load balancer and some SSL related things. So first question is EC2 instance not starting. How do we troubleshoot this? So for troubleshooting such kind of issues, first of all, we have to check the instance status in AWS console. Check if the instance has sufficient permission to start or not. And next, verify the instance type and available limit in your AWS account. So each and every services having some limit might be we exhausted our instance limit in your account or your reason check the system logs using ec2 go to the action monitor and troubleshooting and get the system logs might be there some errors errors are coming if your ec2 instance root volume has been corrupted then detach your root volume and attach into the another EC2 instance and inspect the logs might be we can find something and based on that we can take the next step the next question is EC2 instance is struck in initialization state what we will do to check to troubleshoot this issue first of all check the cloudwatch matrix for CPU disk and memory uses might be due to the memory uses, or CPU uses, or disk uses, your instance is not able to initialize. Next, verify the instance status check or failing or passing. So instance status check is nothing but three by three or two by two status check is there. First one is checking the hardware. Second one is checking the OS related issues. Third one is checking the root volume related issues restart the instance and check if passes the health check or not review the wire log messages and wire log syslogs using the ssh if you are not able to do the ssh then use the serial console of ec2 instance where you can see the logs without doing the ssh if issues persist what we have to do create a new instance from you from a snapshot each and every instance in in real time environment what we are doing we are keeping the backup of each and every instance so in which format we are taking the backup we are taking the backup in the form of snapshot so that tomorrow if anything will go strong what we will do quickly with the help of snapshot we will spin up the new instance next question is unable to ssh into ec2 instance what we will do if interviewer is asking uh, one of your teammate is not able to do the ssh into your ec2 instance how do we troubleshoot this so the answer should be verify the security group the inbound rules allowing the ssh port or not how we can check that go to the ec2 instance check the security group and check the inbound rule second what we can do we can telnet from your local also for 2020 22 port next ensure that instance has public ip or elastic ip assigned suppose your instance don't have public ip what we can do might be that instance is uh, created in private subnet so for connecting your private subnet instance we have to use the vpn if the tunneling is already exist second if the vpn tunneling is not available might be your team member are using the bastion host or jump box with the help of that we we have to uh, connect to your ec2 instance check the key pair which we are using and which is assigned to your instance that is matching to your ins 
your your p pair key pair or not next use the ec2 serial console for debugging if ssh is not accessible might be someone taken your uh, local key and added to your authorized key inside the hidden directory of ssh might be the permission issue should be there then with the help of serial console you can log into your instance and debug such kind of issues restart the instance and retry again might be that can resolve your issue next question is elastic load balancer not distributing traffic to your ec2 instances how we will troubleshoot that ensure that target instance are healthy if target instance will be healthy then only your load balancer will be distribute traffic to your ec2 instances go to load balancer and inside the load balancer check the target groups and check the status of your target groups check the security groups and network acls allowing traffic to and from your alb or not next what we can do verify the listeners are configured properly or not for example if you are using http or https port the port should be correct fourth one ensure the proper instance registration is in your target group sometimes your uh, instance proper instance is not attached to your target group then it will be not serve the traffic last one check the cloudwatch matrix for alb traffic patterns might be there will be some abnormally in your traffic pattern due to that your instance is got uh, uh, unhealthy or something like that okay next question could be the ec2 instance running out of disk space for trouble such kind of issues first of all check the disk uses with the help of df-h command next identify the large files on your os label like with the help of du-ss and you can sort in a human readable format and after finding out the large file what we can do we can clear the logs or we can move the large file in s3 bucket and whenever required we can swipe in and swap out fourth one is if still after clearing the logs is still your disk space uh, issues not resolved then extend your volume size go to ec2 instance modify the volume and increase the size of your volume add some extra volume and after adding or modifying your volume what we have to do we have to log into your ec2 instance and run the command resize to fs followed by the file system name that will resolve the issue and extend your volume at the os level next question is ec2 instance terminated unexpectedly what we will do first of all check the cloud trail cloud crowd sorry cloud trail logs for termination protection termination event whenever any anything we are doing on uh, aws aws is generating logs in cloud trail so first of all we have to check instance is terminated by uh, any user any role or what kind of event we are use we are getting in the cloud trail logs verify the aws auto scaling setting if it is in auto scaling group check if the instance hits a billing or spare spot in pricing limit might be uh, if we are using the spot instances might be such a case review the termination protection setting in ec2 instance and restore the instance using an ami or snapshot if still the issue is there then we can restore your previous instance with the help of ami or snapshot next question is alb not accepting https traffic are http s request ensure for troubleshooting that 
ensure an SSL certificate is attached to your ALV. Go to the ACM and check the certificates for your particular domain. And uh, that uh, ACL certificate is attached to your ALV or not. Check the security group rules allowing port 443. Verify the listeners set to HTTPS or not. And fourth one is confirm the backend in backend instance, a target group instance which is attached to your register to your target is accepting HTTPS traffic or not. Review the logs in CloudTrail and CloudWatch for SSL related issues. Next question could be the EC2 instance high having high CPU utilization. To troubleshoot this first of all check the cloudwatch matrix for spikes in cpu uses use top or h top command to identify the high cpu processes restart the heavy processes or optimize the application code actually as a devops engineer or sre engineer we are not optimizing our application code because we are not owning the application code okay the application code is developed by the developers okay so, or some other team member what we have to do we have to inform the respective team members to optimize the code and we have to explain the scenario next consider the increasing the instance type we can increase the instance type in two way First one is the vertical scaling, second one is the horizontal scaling. In case of a vertical scaling, what we will do, we will change the instance type our uh, EC2 instance so that suppose we are using uh, uh, CPU utilization having 4 core, okay, might be we required 8 core or some other uh, higher higher version, okay. In such a case, we will, we will use the vertical scaling. If it is possible, try to use the auto scaling group and create like add your instance in horizontal fashion so that it will be uh, uh, highly available. Next question is auto scaling group not launching new instances. How do we troubleshoot this? First of all, check the launch template or configuration for any kind of error ensure the AMI used is valid and accessible what is the launch template and launch configuration launch template and launch configuration is nothing but it is set of template where we are defining if your auto scaling group is going to going to launch new instance what could be the AMI what would be the instance type which security good group should be attached to the your EC2 instance? What role should be there? What would be in user data scripts? These kind of things we are putting inside the launch template. Launch configuration is the legacy one. Nowadays, we are not going with the launch configuration. We are using LT only. Because in LT, we have a feature. We can, we can create the multiple version of launch template. Next is verify the instance limit for your AWS account. We have to keep in mind for each and every services there is some quota that is defined by the AWS. Suppose we are using Lambda services, the Lambda service Lambda Lambda quota is defined for each and every reason for every account. Similar. EC2 instance having also a quota, S3 bucket also having a quota. If we are exceeding the quota limit, then we have to raise the request. AWS team will be increased on behalf of us. Next, check if an sufficient subnet IP issues exist. Might be what is happening when we are creating the VPC. That time we are passing the CIDR block. And each and every CIDR block having the set of limited IPs. 
might be we exhausted the limit of IP addresses. When your auto scaling group is trying to launch new instance, that time what will happen? It is not getting the free IPs. If it is if IP is not available in your VPC, then might be it will not uh, launch the instance. It will throw the error. And last point what we can mention review the scaling policies and cloudwatch alarms might be in cloudwatch alarm some errors are coming based on that we can take the next decision the next question and last question is easy to spot instances terminated suddenly what we will do first of all try to understand in which scenario we are using the spot instances First one is non-critical applications where uh, criticality doesn't matter. Okay, the application is nature is not critical. There we are using spot instances. Second, wherever we are using auto scaling group, in such a case we are dividing our on-demand or spot instances or uh, uh, in 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 some percentage so that. Suppose we are using auto scaling group and there we put it some uh, uh, configurations like 30% um, we are using spot instances and 70% we are using on demand instances so that 30% whatever EC2 instant is instance will be there they will get the cheaper price as compared to on demand set the maximum higher maximum bid for the spot instances pricing everyone knows spot instances work on the bidding kind of things use the spot fleet or on-demand instances for reliability as I mentioned in first point fourth one review the auto scaling policies to replace the terminated instances fifth one the backup kind of thing store the important data in persistent storage like EVS or S3 suppose your spot instances got terminated or your on-demand instance got terminated if it is in auto scaling group what will happen with data data should be stored in persistent volume EVS volume EFS volume or S3 bucket so that whenever new instance will come it will be take the data from the persistent storage like EFS or EVS or S3 so that the application will not be hampered. So these are the interview questions. Uh, the that, that questions interviewers are asking very frequently. Sometimes interviewers are asking, can you give me an example where you faced any kind of issue related to EC2 instance or ELB in your career? So you can pick any of the questions and give the answers to him and explain the what the scenario has been created and how we develop that, that scenario. He will understand you have the real time experience. So that's it in this video guys. See you in next video. We will try to cover some other uh, AWS services and uh, their uh, real-time issues. Thank you. Thank you so much. If you like this video, uh, please like and subscribe our uh, channel. Thank you guys. Have a good day.